If you use the frother often for multiple cappuccinos or lattes, we highly recommend the Froth Express Plus system, a fast, efficient, automatic frothing device. This system is available separately. Here's how it works. Remove the dual frother plus. First, let it cool. Then turn the connector a few times and pull down. Now assemble the milk container. Because this system siphons milk to mix with hot steam, it's important that the parts connect tightly, creating a seal. Now attach the Froth Express Plus system. When replacing the frother, make sure it sits tight with the chrome sleeve, like so. Please see the instruction manual for details. Then attach the Froth Express Plus system to the milk container. Remember, for best results, use low-fat or skim milk. Do not use half and half or cream. The Froth Express Plus dial has three positions for heating milk. The frothing position heats and froths the milk, and the steaming position heats without frothing. The center position on the dial is for steam only and completely blocks the flow of milk. Whether frothing or steaming, the milk can be made warmer by turning the knob toward this center position. This increases the portion of steam and decreases the flow of milk. For steaming without frothing, turn the dial down. Then press the steam button and wait for the display to read steam ready. Place a cup beneath the frother and turn the selector switch to the water position. For 20 seconds, milk from the container will be drawn into your E8 and heated by steam. Remember, if you want to increase the temperature of the milk, move the dial closer to the center position. For steaming and frothing, turn the dial up. Again, turn the selector switch to the water position. For 20 seconds, milk will be drawn from the container. This time, the milk is heated by steam and mixed with warm air. Frothing milk has never been easier. Now we add a strong shot of espresso to each cup using the two cup button. A perfect latte on the left using steamed milk and a frothy cappuccino on the right.